Okay everyone, so we're doing an operation on the Jeep. So we got this uh, enter fire um, material. This will withstand like a thousand and something degrees. We also got our welding um, apron. Okay, just to give extra protection on this part here. So everything's well protected in case of uh, you know just sparkles we still got underneath there you can see a bit of white there it's not easy to focus okay um it looks dark but it isn't dark in here got the lights so just keep on almost finishing That's all good, huh? I think we got it. Now we've got to weld it on the bench. Better. This is just to secure it in place so we know the shape it's going to have. The support. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so spot welded it. Um, and now we got it in shape. It's really not hot anymore. I can pick it up. So now I'm going to take it to the bench. Um, weld it better on the inside with a different welding machine. Okay, I'm going to weld it with the MIG machine. Um, and then put it into place. I'm really going to make the holes as well. These holes here, that one, that one. Because then I've got to drill holes in here so I can be screws. And on the other side, whoever's thinking like that but it will be weak on the other side I'm going to put extra plating on the inside here okay I'm going to put extra plating in here okay so that I reinforce the whole um, structure okay so that's what I'm aiming for and I'm sure we'll make it almost looks like Cybertruck design eh the bending to give it structure there's no metal tubes inside or anything in here <laughs> it's just how it is eh? maybe you got the idea from this chip <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> you never know okay everyone so what a day i am tired <laughs> so put the ready the primer epoxy primer uh, on the symbols and uh, got it all painted up what do you guys think looking beautiful ain't it guys but some some lights on that look at that that's the perfect color that i wanted like a batman gray i'm calling it the batman gray color it's really going to stand out in the car but not too much you know and here we got the citroen symbol Remember, it was a Citroen and a Saxo, if you go watch the previous video. Beautiful. I'm not even going to go too close so that it doesn't get dust or anything. It has to settle down now for like, uh, I would say, two days. Until I can really just press on it and everything else, you know. We also got the parts painted, okay. So these ones I didn't go really into like special detailing like the sim the ones on the symbol. Um, this is going to go next to the tire. This one as well. This is for the, the, the new bracket that's been built for the brake uh, fluid um, cup. Okay, the brake fluid cup because we have to change it. Remember I said I was going to change a place. So that's looking pretty good we still have our crystals inside the bucket like I said so they haven't 
dissolved or anything they're getting much cleaner so i'm just going to leave them there for a while then i'll put a piece of rusty steel so you guys see the difference on that so that's going to go in the inner side of the wheel okay brake fluid cap supports and the box and oil pump for the steering okay there you go welded it all up remember i had just put some uh, spot welds uh, so then i brought it with inside and welded it properly there there and underneath as well so it's all ready to go and the plate that i built also for the air compressor for the the rear traction blocking system okay hope i'm getting all right in english <laughs> not very easy sorry guys so i'm going to mount the compressor here instead of making new holes on the chassis i'm going to use four of the holes that were there and um, that's why i did this fitting so i can fit a um, conic head um, screw so that it stays like all hidden out or flat a flat screw head screw and uh, then the other four holes for the compressor so four will stay underneath and then four will go to the bottom you see so next to the wheel arch then i'll put the the safety nuts okay that's it anti-loose loosening nuts i'll show you guys these ones right here that have the anti-loose rubber seal okay there you go okay so we're gonna need some m6s and i have m8 in stock so that was cool we also got the stone for the table ready remember i said i was going to put some so i got some like this recycled material imitating cork okay it's made out of slippers so very cool like that it blends in with the stone you know and uh yeah so as you can see glue this one onto this one it's foam and uh, if i turn it upside down it just auto balances itself you know like if i take that out the way there you go see now I can put a pot pans whatever i want on top and it's a really cool feature you know with the story you know as you can tell people where i found it came from the ground uh very cool item so it's stable because it's got all the foaming so that's quite cool i actually tested it out with this you see it will stay a bit like crooked but it does the job <laughs> i don't want to put it today on the table but i will put it tomorrow or should we put it right now ah what the heck let's just put it right now i'm sure it's already dry i used epoxy glue so let's go and I also chose this material because it doesn't like tend to glue on the table, you know. So there we have some flowers going on. <laughs> and now we have, I'll put it on this side, right next to the where the... Oh, let me just put the phone down very quick, guys. Oh yeah, how cool is that? Now that's a cool element to the table, hey? That looks pretty good. I have to see what I'm going to do with these stones still. I have stones here, what I'm going to do to them. I have three stones. That's to put the hose pipe for the greenhouse. Okay, I had showed that in a previous video. So, this one had already been painted. So I'm going to use this because the paint looks good still. So I'm going to put the chicken one. They have a chicken one and a dog one. But they prefer the chicken one. It does make sense. So... Let's see this from a further distance. Yes. Blends in with the rocks. Down, down there. Can you see the rocks that we put on the previous video? Not the previous one, the previous, previous one. Just go check them all, guys. <laughs> so that's quite cool. See? Now let's do a test. See? Because we have a cup of water here. Let's see how well will it balance, you know? Yeah, not bad, eh? If it's a big pot or pan and it's hot, 
That's all stay pretty cool. Yep, yep, it will work. It will work. Okie dokie. Yeah, this is our mosquito candle, citronella. I don't think it really works, but anyways. Okay, guys. How it used to look, but this one is in good condition. Remember, the other one was all scraped up. I wish my ones were looking like that, but you see it's all like full of little holes and scratches. So this just fades away, you know. Then it becomes ugly because beneath this is a, um, a dark uh, plastic color, you know. Now with, I think it's a much best Im better improvement. More discreet, you know. Yes, very happy. Can't wait to boot them. <laughs> Okay, okay. So you see the original four holes. That's what the plate is going to cover. I'm going to use those four, and then another four for the compressor. Okay, the compressor. I'm going to put it more towards this side because it was sitting here it's on the bonnet. Amazing. Brake fluid cup uh, is going to go more or less here, and like that, we still use the same original tubes. Because the length gives, so I could only I tried to put it here, but it wouldn't give because I can't go too low. I have to maintain the height because of the oil level, the pressure, and uh, I had to put it here. Therefore, do that special support, um, which I had to do it here anyways for the support. But I just it's very hard to find a proper space, you know. Had to put the bonnet up and down, up and down. That bonnet weighs like, I don't know, must weigh like 30 kgs. The whole bonnet must be like 30, 40 kgs, easy. Um, it's quite heavy, it's all like proper steel. <laughs> and now I've got brake fluid on my hand. So let me just clean it up. Brake fluid, as everyone knows, is very bad for the paint. And I was worried that it should start dripping here. And then it's going to start to corrode um, the paint, you know. So I actually um, got more paint done because once I started cleaning, uh, as you can see, brake fluid just rips out all the paint. So I'm going to have to patch this up. So I already, I'm going to get the same paint that was used for outside. I'm going to retouch the inside some little stuff here and on the bonnet as well get it all properly fixed up um and there's supports that you saw that were painted as you previously saw in the video um that's one is going to go for here okay it supports the the steering box okay steering fluid um pump as well and um, then underneath here the the arch of the wheels you see to reinforce this okay um i also put those thick pieces of steel okay um, to reinforce the wall over here and the top wall over here as well and like that we're all good to go then we'll do the test on it but i believe that with this um, this is going to be, this is going to work and it's going to be brilliant. So that's, that steel bar that's there was also not original afterwards. That's still, this one here. Um, that's supporting the, that's supporting here the, the steering box here, yeah, you see. So that was also bolts to really give it some support, but it was still uh, wavy on the top of pots and I think we're gonna get it solved Okay guys, so with this I finished this video Because tomorrow we're going to mount this uh, I think we're gonna have all this ready on the Jeep tomorrow And the Citroen I'll only have it ready probably Saturday because we're also doing the oil radiator Yep, you heard me. We're doing the oil radiator, the performance oil radiator that I've spoken about. Um, I decided it's not worth to delay anymore. Let's just get right to it before something happens. <laughs> uh, summer's coming, then overheating, and uh, you know, I was always afraid of that little oil radiator that it has, and I don't trust it at all. 
So we're gonna have that update. Um, some things I can't really film because I'm like sometimes working on my own and it's not very easy. I tried with the stand supports and everything, but um, it just doesn't work. I always have to be like moving the camera and then it's all gonna be like glitchy. So um, I'll just go right to like the end results. And for you guys, don't have to spend so much time looking at the video. <laughs> Okay, unless you guys really want all the details, then I'll just uh, have to make a plan. But um, yes, the sex oil we'll have on probably Saturday, the oil radiator on. And um, I'm going to f uh, get some help so that someone can hold the camera while I'm putting the symbols for the, for the sex and see how it ends up coming out. So very excited for all these things. Also got some outdoor projects. Okay, so we're gonna work on that and a bunch of other stuff. Have a blessed day, have a great day and a great week. Why not? And a blessed week. <laughs> okay, God bless you all. Stay tuned guys and see you on the next one. Out.